an officer is someone that can lead from the front in difficult situations. You've got to be able to speak up when you need to be confident. I have uh, 30 soldiers under my command and it's my job to basically do the planning, the training, looking forward and ensuring that the processes are in place before we deploy on operations or exercises. A lot of time and effort goes into writing their reports, setting them objectives, making sure that they're on track and giving them the best opportunities to go as far as they can in their careers. So we're there to provide that personnel, sort of management, human resources and overall project management. I chose the Royal Engineers for many reasons, primarily the amount of jobs that we get involved in. There's so many different trades and roles within the Corps that you can go into, especially as an officer. So every couple of years you'll move to a different area that you've probably not done before, the armoured side of it, the EOD, the close support. After this job I'd like to go into an armoured regiment, so that would hopefully be working with Titans and Trojans and be looking at mobility, so ensuring that battle groups can move across the battlefield, so clearing minefields, clearing routes, all that sort of thing. So that would also include hopefully going out to Canada on one of the Prairie Storms, the biggest um, exercise uh, the Army has going. After a year at Sandhurst to become an Army officer, I then commissioned into the Royal Engineers. That includes a six-month troop commander course, which is broken down into three months of being a combat engineer and then three months of the more technical side of things. And all of that bound together, a year and a half's worth of training, um, you then join your first regiment as a troop commander. As an officer, we have a basic understanding of every element of the combat engineering trade. However, we rely very heavily on our sappers, who are the subject matter experts. We will turn to them to get their specialist advice on each aspect of the engineering tasks that we're providing to Battle Group. You're a really close-knit team that then goes away on operations and, and, and delivers effects on the ground. Yes, very challenging, but ultimately you come back such as a tight-knit family. I was actually an ex-soldier with the Royal Military Police. I was able to commission through Sandhurst and I was accepted into the Royal Engineers. Now just about to finish my Royal Engineers Troop Commanders course. I've learned to appreciate what it is like to have been a soldier first and now to be an officer. Commanding soldiers I think is one of the biggest privileges you can have and that's always appealed to me. It's something that I've always really wanted to do from a young age and I'm very proud to be an officer, especially within the Royal Engineers.